winter, the energy sinks deeper inside to nourish uh, the organs and to store that energy. In spring, it moves, it starts to move out, particularly out towards the tendons and the sinews more. And the body becomes more active and there's more yang movement. So we want to harness this energy by moving the physical body. So if we all do, then do movements that stretch our body or Dao Yin's for example, which is a type of Qigong, which is based on a lot of lengthening of the tissues and the joints, then that helps that movement of Qi to nourish and move out through the body. So the springtime is a particularly good time to help open up the body if you tend to be uh, stiff or stuck in areas. This is the easiest time of year to get that open because of that nourishment through the tendons and the sinews. So let's get our body and our mind unstuck and do some movements, get everything open up. So we'll start with just shaking up everything in the body, uh, just taking out any stagnant areas. So just gonna bounce a little bit. Let that shake through the whole body. Release the shoulders. Bounce everything. Take a few nice deep breaths. And let's add a sigh as well. Shake the diaphragm. So take a nice deep breath. And sigh. Freeing up any stuck areas. And down, and let's open up the whole body until the fingers stretch up. Just make small movement. It's like you're trying to pull your upper body away from your lower body, creating more space for the chi to flow through. Hold it on one side, take a nice deep breath, release the pelvis down. And the other side, hold it, open everything. Please pelvis down. Breathe into the ribs. Into the center. Pull the arms back. Creating more space around the ribs, diaphragm, whole chest area. And spread the shoulders down. Okay, and we're gonna open up the chest a little bit because quite often in the winter when we get the cold and constriction, we tend to go a little bit to this posture, get a little bit stuck. So let's just open the chest up. So spread the arms. And smile. Smiling helps spreading, opening up here and also helps to spread uh, the tissues around the heart. Let it all open. And one more to help open this area. So we're going to bring the arms up, placing them on the back. Now we take a nice deep breath in into the ribs and diaphragm, that whole area that the liver and the wood energy easily stagnates in. And we fill the breath, fill the lungs and breathe out, sigh. Breathe in. <sighs> Create more space. Really fill the lungs, fill the ribs, let them spread. And release the shoulders as you go down. As we breathe out, breathe out st stagnation, breathe out the old. Ah. 
the things we don't need anymore. <sighs> okay. And let's create more space around the ribs. So you're gonna bring the arms up by bring, bring them up and try to do the movement by spreading the chest and the ribs. Spread, create more space. So there's more space for us to take in this new fresh energy. The smoother and more regulated our lungs and our breath is as well. The smoother the chi flows, the smoother the emotions and that helps the liver energy. As it governs the smooth flow of emotions. Really spread through the chest, the ribs, the shoulders. Spread when you feel like all the tissues are opening. Breathe out, release down towards the floor. Breathe in, spread. Breathe out, feel the drop release down towards the floor. Spread a few more times. And release, breathe out. Spread. And breathe out. And let's spread the arms out sideways. Feel a big pull through the sinews and the tendons all the way out from the upper body out towards the fingertips. Let it pull open everything. Pull through the arm, try to leave the other one behind a little bit, creating more space. And into the center, pull both, both directions, sideways. And keep that pull on and add a twist. So now it also opens the tissues around the chest. And down. And twist outwards and back. Getting opening and twisting at the same time. Forwards. And out. Keep the mind listening inside the tissues that you're moving. As we become aware, deeper and deeper in the body, the deeper fibers and everything can open up in a deeper way. So if we listen to that process, we can feel all those fibers opening all through the chest, through the arms, all the way to the fingertips. It feels really nice when it starts to go deeper and deeper. As we open up the, the body and the tendons, it also helps us purge stuck things inside the body, like pathogens and stuck emotions. Keep the stretch on, bring one arm up, one down. And we pull the palms back. So one palm is facing up towards heaven, one down towards, towards the floor. And the feet, they are about shoulder width distance. Keep that stretch on. And then we have the pelvis releasing down and the head up. So we're getting a whole lengthening through the whole spine as well through the arms. Keep that on and turn the lower spine, the middle spine, the upper spine, look behind. And then the palms face towards the back wall. One goes up, one goes down. So they change position. Then we slowly turn in towards the front. Other palm facing up and the other one down. Then we turn, twist the spine towards the other direction. Palms turn over, face towards your back wall or back nature. 
up. Keep that stretch on. Turn. Palms face behind. So there's a big stretch. All the time you also want to feel like the palm is spreading as much as you can. If we get this area open, this is where the sinew lines connects into the body. So if we stretch this, if we have the, the right kind of release through the muscles, then that will be able to connect into the whole body and open it up, into the upper body and open up. Turn. Keep the stretch on through the palms, all the way through. All the way out to the fingertips. Keep the pelvis hanging down away from the head so we're not getting any compressions in the spine. Make sure you don't lean back so that pelvis can hang. If we lean back then we put the weight and the contraction into the spine. So Nice, upright. Just one more either side, each side. Really release the pelvis down as much as you can. Keep the head lengthened and keep that lengthening out through the arms. So we feel the whole stretch through the whole body. Let it go deeper. One more each side. You'll learn when I say one more, then I mean a few more. Just wanted to get, get this benefit of this opening that's happening. The longer we do a movement, the deeper it goes into the tissues. But I'll try to keep this short, but if you want to continue, pause the video, and do this for a bit longer, let the body open up deeper, then do so. Uh, next time you come into the center, bring the arm down and just move the body a little. And then we're just going to hang the body forwards, bring the body down, release the head down, let the whole low uh, back part of the body open up hang the head let the spine hang and then we're gonna shake the bum a little bit to shake out through the spine releasing any stuck areas and at the same time let it lengthen as gravity is pulling on our head and take the hands over to one side of the feet into the center one side of the feet don't worry if you can't touch the ground and just go towards that side into the center and the other side into the center a little bit deeper if you can now maybe Maybe you can straighten those legs a little bit more. Take a nice deep breath. And on the out breath, release. Sink deeper into your tissues. And bend at the knees. Sink down into a squatting position. Roll a little bit over the feet. Get the feet nice and open. They've been constricted in your shoes all winter. And come up, shake the legs. And we're gonna do another movement that comes from our dragon dalians, which helps open up the body. So we're gonna do a static version of it with the feet. So we bring the hands over the head nice opening of the chest then they come into the sides then we turn on our right foot 
on the ball of the back foot so the heel comes up on the back foot and we twist and we look over the shoulder and we lengthen the head away from the pelvis so we're getting a nice lengthening through the whole spine and the arms is pulled back behind you same palms is pulled away and then we turn into the center bring the hands over the head by the sides twist on the heel of the left foot come up on the ball of the back foot lengthen the head away from your pelvis look over the shoulder the arms pull away from your head palms are pulled back and twist into the center open feel a nice opening through the ribs and the chest in through the sides turn on the heel of the front foot come up on the ball of the back foot twist look behind and here you really want to feel a lengthening through the whole spine so the head pulls away from the pelvis take a nice deep breath slowly into the center keep the shoulders released here don't let them come up keep the stretch onto your fingers in turn on the heel up on the ball of the back foot twist look behind feel that stretch slowly into the center keep the stretch on the palms keep the pelvis hanging away from the head turn on the heel of my right foot come up on the ball of my left foot and look behind now maybe you can feel a lengthening all the way from the back heel through the leg through the spine to the neck to the top of the crown of the head take a nice deep breath in that lengthening let the tissues and the fibers lengthen and align slowly come towards the front open <sighs> bring the arms down take a little wider stance and sink down into what we call a puri boot so if this is your limit then support yourself on your leg if you need to stay here let that open up through your inside of your leg if you can go deeper then do so get a stretch in through your hip joints and the legs in the winter cold tends to constrict particularly around the lower back and the hips because it's governed by the kidneys and the warming energy of the kidneys and if that's not as strong as it should be then that cold creeps in particularly in this region so let's open those hips out other side either high or low small movements change bring the toes up if you can and if you want to increase the stretch if you don't then just stay whichever version is best for you but if you can bring the upper body down towards the floor take a nice deep breath release into the stretch and over to the other side bring those toes up and down towards the floor if you're comfortable with that make sure you keep this knee out over the foot though and sit down onto your butt Bring the legs in front of your body, feet together, gently bounce the hips open.
Lengthen up through the top of the head. And cross the legs. And take the upper body forwards. Open up the back. Breathe into the body. And on the out breath, release deeper into the stretch. And then up. Turn the body over one leg and down. And up and towards the other leg. Up into the center, lengthen through the whole spine. Lengthen through the neck, make small movements, like you're pulling the head up away from the body. Now when we're in this more lengthened open state, just take a moment to breathe into the body. Feel how maybe there's more space around the lungs, around the ribs, and around the gut area. Just take a few breaths into that, let that state Consolidate into your body. Okay, so these are a few movements that you can do to open up the physical body and the tendons and to help free up the breath, um, which is good, but also really good to do physical exercise, get your body strengthened during this time of year as you can ride on this extra yang and wood energy. So take that opportunity and help free up your body, free up yourself mentally. Thank you.